Hi guys, this is Isa from Printstick in another video and today I want to talk to you about using your planner in Notability. So I know there's some confusion here because when you purchase, for example, the Color Planner version 2, these are all the files that you will have access to. Um, if you take a closer look, the first and second files, they end in .goodnotes.zip. That means that these particular files are made to be used only in GoodNotes. Okay, so they will not work if you try to import them into Notability and also they will not work if you try to unzip them. Okay, so these two files can only be imported directly into GoodNotes and the reason why they are in this format is because they have the stickers and widgets ready to be used in GoodNotes. All right, but you can still use everything included in Notability. So today I will talk about that. The fourth file here is uh, a guide. It's a PDF and I will show you what it looks like. I have it here saved in Notability. All right, so you will get this guide that I highly recommend you read. Uh, most of the questions I get are answered here. So just make sure you take a look at this guide um, in case there's something you don't understand. And then go back to the files that you receive when you purchase. <clears throat> And as you can see, the last file is called instructions to download PDFs. And that's the part that's most important for any user that is not using GoodNotes. OK, because that will include the planner in PDF format, the sticker book in PDF format, as well as the extra covers. So a lot of people message me asking where those are. And if you click on this guide, I have it open here in Notability, this one that says instructions to download PDFs. So, um, you know, Etsy has some rules. I can only upload up to five files and it would of a certain size. So this bundle includes so many things that five files is not enough for everything that I want to uh, share with you guys. So for that reason, I have another website where I store all of the other files and that website is called cells.com. As you can see, I have another shop there, which is printstick.cells.com. And if you read this guide, you will see that you need to tap on this uh, link right here that will take you to the particular page where you can download the rest of the files. So you do not need to pay again. You do not need to enter any credit card details or anything, only your name and email address so you can access the file. And then here where it's blacked out is um, a code that you will need to enter in order to get all these files for free. All right. So this uh, little uh, sheet is very important. Just check it out when you um, access your downloads because this is what you need in order to get all of the PDFs. You will also be able to download the fonts. All right, so if you tap on that link that you have right here, it's going to take you to uh, this page. As you can see, this is no longer Etsy, but this is on sales.com. And here you get a description of the planner. As you can see, this is for the Monday start. So um, don't worry, the link is the one that you, exactly the one you purchase is the where you're gonna be led to uh, on this website. So you don't have to check that this is right or anything. Just click on buy it now. Then here where it says discount code, you will enter the uh, the code that you received in this uh, PDF file that I just showed you a moment ago. Just make sure to enter all uh, characters in capitals. And for some reason, sometimes there's like a space after the word. So you can't really tell, but if there's a space and you click on apply, it's not going to work and it's going to say that the code is no longer valid. But the code that I'm sending you is valid, is current. So just make sure to enter it all caps and with no space before or after the word. And then you will be able to uh, get this item for free. Once the discount code is applied correctly, then as you can see, it will say that it's free and you will have a number of zero. So then click on continue continue and as you can see I have the download links here for all of the files as you can see it's a lot more than just five so what you need for notability is everything that ends in PDF so as you can see you have the sticker book you have the covers and you have the planner itself which is at the bottom here if you miss the download links from this site just go to your email address and you're gonna get them from there. I know something weird happens with cells that it like sends you to a different site. So don't worry, you don't have to do the whole process again. 
just check your email and you will have the um, download links over there so here i will as, as i said um if there's an issue and you lose the links don't uh redo the whole process just go check your email and then you will have access to these links again okay um so i'm going to click on the one that says color planner dated v2 monday.pdf and then here this is like a preview of the document so once you have this planner over here you will just uh, tap on the export icon, which is on the top right corner, the box with the arrow pointing up, tap there. And then here you will find the note taking app that you want. Since this is a PDF, you can either copy to GoodNotes or Notability or any other app uh, that you have that takes PDFs, of course. So I just keep scrolling until I find Notability. So where it says copy to Notability, that's where I'm gonna tap. And then here, um, as usual, just create a new note. Make sure that all the pages are selected and click on import. And that's it. Your planner has been uh, imported into Notability. Okay. So now this is ready to start. Um, you can start, you know, using it. You can start writing. The links are going to work the same way as if they were in any, any other app. Just tap and go to the page. Um, and then what you need to do is to start building your widget um, library. As you can see, this part is empty. So I will quickly show you how to add the widgets and then the process you need to follow to add all of the stickers to your sticker book is going to be exactly the same. So I go back to my downloads uh, here from cells to where I have all these links and then I want to start with the widgets. So this file that says widgets.zip is the file that content contains all the widgets so i'm just click on uh, i'm just going to click on download and this there's no preview because it's a zip file you can't see what it is but i have the app iZip installed and this is a free app i mean it has a free version so you can just download that from the app store you don't have to pay anything and then you know if you don't see open in iZip here if it's the first time you're using it again use your um expert button and scroll to find the app okay then tap there, close this, and then just click OK to extract all files. All right, and then if you tap on this folder, you have all of your widgets and you can preview what each of them is. And of course, it's so many of them. That's what's so cool about this planner. But don't worry, you don't have to um, do one by one. You can actually just select all on the bottom left it says all with a, a little like check mark so tap there and they're all selected now click where it says save and it automatically saves everything to your camera roll okay so hit ok and that's all you need to do uh, with this file in this app so you can close it then you go to uh, notability and you need to enter split screen mode just drag your pen or your finger from the bottom of the screen up until you see your uh, features you have to make sure that you have your photo apps here if you don't have it all you have to do is open it prior to opening notability and then when you close it it'll be saved here on the right side as your reasons so go back to notability drag my finger up from the bottom of the screen and then tap and hold on the photos icon until I can have my uh, split screen mode. As you can see, um, all of these widgets were saved here as individual images. So all I have to do is tap and hold and drag each widget. Actually, I want to go down here to the desk area. So I'm just going to lower it. Okay. And then with this little like T or the first icon in the middle bar in Notability, you can tap there to select your image. And you can resize and with this top bar you can position it whatever you want so you can continue doing that with the rest of the widgets and start building your widget so you know you can go little by little start importing the widgets that you're gonna use each uh, day or you can just sit one day have a coffee and or you know play a movie in the background or something and start importing all of your widgets okay and then when you are on any page of your planner, you can use the tabs, go to September, and then you click on your little clip here to go to your extras, and then you can click on widgets, and you'll have your uh, library with widgets. 
Of course, there's this is many um, widgets, so you, you will have to duplicate this page. So I'm going to close my camera roll. I just drag this little line to the right. So to duplicate this page, uh, the library page that I need, I'm actually going to go to this blank one and I'm going to tap on the three dots here in the left uh, corner, click on copy and then tap again. And now you can see I have the option to paste. So just paste. And as you can see, there's another page that is the same. I can keep doing that. The way I set them up in GoodNotes, I needed um, seven uh, empty spaces to fit all the widgets. So that's how many pages you can um, prepare for your widgets. So I just want to quickly show you um, with your sticker book, it's the same way. As you can see, I already dragged most of my stickers to my album. The cool thing about Notability is that um, unlike GoodNotes, you can like lay them on top of each other and you can still click you know the sticker that's behind and stuff you just tap on it and in good notes it's a little confusing with the lasso tool you have to like layer them right otherwise it's like messy so if i want to use for example this uh sticker in my planner i would just tap on it click on copy go back to my different note which is the planner which is right here and then find the page where i want it for example here in november i will uh, just tap and hold and click on paste all right and then you have your sticker uh, you can resize you can reposition oops and etc okay another really quick way to just um switch notes uh, in notability it's a new feature if you just swipe from the left of the screen you will get access to like your latest uh, notes that you open so you can quickly go from your sticker book to your planner and vice versa so that was it guys um this is what the color planner looks like in notability as you can see it works just as well so um you get a better idea of how uh this is gonna look if you are using notability as always please let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions and i'll get back to you if you like this video please give it a thumbs up to let me know thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye bye mm -hmm.